Hey everyone, I have a little bit of a video that we've definitely talked about before, but uh, with Clay's new functionality of being able to share templates and everything, I thought I would make a video to explain this workflow and then also be able to give it away so everybody else could use it as well too. Basically, we have a workflow here that we are looking for new hires at a target account list that uh, we're going to run daily and we're going to figure out if there's any new hires and then find their email address and their mobile phone number, see if they actually were newly hired or if they were promoted at the company, and then send a Slack message automatically and it's just going to run every single day. And so the way that this flow works is you're first going to start with a huge list of companies. Now, this is a list of companies. The template isn't going to have this many columns because this is just what we were working with. The template is only going to have the columns for the website and the LinkedIn company URL because that is probably the only thing that you need. And then you'll have this search over here for the, um, the, the people search, right? And all we have this set up for is we'll go to the search and we're just looking at all these company identifiers and we're looking for these job titles. And then we want maximum number of months since start date of current role to be two. Now, the reason why it's two and it's not one is because when any scraper, this isn't just Clay, this is any company that is scraping LinkedIn, they often might miss some profiles and then you have to go back. So whenever you're looking for new hires, you always want to find the you know, the people who joined a company in the last month and the last two months, because if the scraper missed somebody in the last month and now they've been there for 40 days, your filter is going to miss it. And so we just always put it on too. Then uh, you can turn the schedule on in your Clay account by going to this right here and then saying, I want a columns to rerun on a schedule and I want this column to run once a day uh, by the frequency. If for some reason sharing this template doesn't work, I've tested this. This whole flow works. If for some reason the template doesn't work, then just delete this people search over here, create your own people search, and then push it into this table over here, which I hope makes sense for everybody. But if you don't know how to create a people search, uh, and for some reason my template is broken because it's I, this workflow works, but it's sometimes hard to know if a template works perfectly for you guys, just go to actions and then just hit find people at these companies and then insert your filters. For the new role, you want to make sure that you hit uh, experience. Actually, let's just go here. You're going to hit experience, maximum months in current role, two, boom, that's where you're going to go. Then when we find people, we're going to get their job title, their first name, their full name, their last name, their LinkedIn profile, all this other stuff. The other thing too is the way I have this set up is we're using lead magic to find the emails. And then we also are trying to find mobile numbers here. And then it will automatically send to a Slack channel in here. Now, the Slack message is already completely set up for you all, where all you have to do is just come in and all of this stuff is mapped. You just have to outline the channel that you want it set up for and do all your authentications and, and things like that. Now, there's a couple things in here where one, we're filtering to see are they newly hired or are they did they get a promotion? And so what I'm filtering for is the company URL to have a match in their experience, which you can see here, current experience, company domain, because if we look at any of these current experiences, we want to know, okay, this company domain exists. This is their start date. This is the LinkedIn company URL. If they, for some reason in the list of uh, experiences, this is going to be a two, then this formula is going to switch them to a promotion because then that's actually what happened. Now I also am running this and I'm just adding more and more data to the table. And so what's going to happen is if you run the people search, daily or however often you're going to run it, it might find the same seven people over and over and over again until a new person is found. And so the way I'm just handling that right now is I'm using look up multiple rows in other table. And all I'm doing is doing a lookup. I know this is look up multiple rows in other table, but we're doing a lookup in this table to see does this LinkedIn URL exist in this table already. And if it exists twice, then none of these things are going to run. We're not going to run the mobile phone number, we're not going to run the email, we're not going to run the LinkedIn profile. Actually, let me check the LinkedIn profile, pretty sure. Oh, no. So literally the way we set it up is just like this. Number of results, two is one, boom, generate formula. And I'm going to save this just in case output is correct. Save. Okay, cool. And then we'll just make sure that's the case over here too. Yep. And so then this way, you could just keep it running, but you're not going to pay for somebody that 
you've already found and, and things like that. So anyway, I hope this is useful in this video. I'll give away the template. I know I've talked about how to target new hires in the past. Uh, you can use this and instead of sending to a Slack channel, you're sending to a smart lead campaign or you're sending to an instantly campaign, whatever it might be. I just wanted to make this video because now we have a buttoned up template to actually give. And if something goes wrong with the template, like I know that this workflow works, if something goes wrong with the template, you can also, the bare bones of what you need to do is you just need a LinkedIn company URL to make this one work. If for some reason the people search fails, go to actions and then start your own people search with find people at these companies. Send those people to this table as an imported source, then move on. Actually, you know, another way you could do this is you could even, maybe you could even edit this source. Hmm. Another way you could do this is you can even edit this source and then instead of running that column on a schedule, you could run this source on a schedule instead. Ooh, that's maybe even more interesting. You could hit on a schedule here and then it does it once a day. Interesting. Anyway, um, just some other ways to be able to do this. But either way you want to run it, then you're going to check if they're a new hire or a promotion. You're going to get their email, their mobile phone number, and then if there's multiple people in here, it'll block any of the money spending things that you're going to do. And then you can send to Slack, send to instantly, send to Smart Leads, send to Log Growth Machine, to HeyReach, whatever you want to send to. It's your world. Just take advantage of the data. Clay's the best tool to get this kind of stuff done.